good day everyone and welcome back to the channel so today today we're going to be discussing black clover um of course spoiler warning before we begin because you know we're going to be discussing the chapter in its entirety um so yeah let's jump into chapter 311 titled make it home alive so this chapter basically starts off with the end of last chapter it seems you know attack landed on Zenon and Zenon was cut in half through hair and one of his wings and he's bleeding and he um he asks you know what makes us so different because when I first met you kind of felt similar and he says don't ask me I'm not there either I haven't completed the vow I made with that guy and we see there's so many flashback of Zenon and his friend, I forgot his name, um, saying that they'll become rivals and see which one of them could become commander in chief first. So we're gonna cut away from that and we see Asta and all of them see this big end of the battle and Asta is like, what? The whole thing's disintegrated. That means you know must have won. Um, Nox says that. Asta is rejoiced. He's like, you know. But um, they then mention that the Dark Triad have all been defeated. However, the tree or the advent of Quilforth uh, is still happening. Um, since they defeated them, everybody should be okay now. And we see some of the soldiers say, no matter how much devils they defeat, more just keep popping out from nowhere. We then cut to what seems to be the Clover Kingdom and Julius is saying that um, something isn't right. He feels like something enormous is about to emerge and we see essentially um, this captain with the dream magic forgot her name. I think it's Dorothy. Dorothy. Dory. Dorothy. <laughs> it is something like that. But the dream magic captain is fighting and she's on the ground bleeding and she's like tired and someone is saying that was magnificent dream magic is incredible but she then says nox devil led me here but nobody told me this man was such bad news then he says continuing his statement that dream magic is awesome or maybe it would be if the devil's power that I was given wasn't able to affect intangible concepts meaning essentially it is um this guy I forgot his name and all it was it on the tip of my tongue but I can't remember um what is it what if what is it what is it it is I feel like it's a R but I could be wrong but essentially he's from the Diamond Kingdom. We've seen him before in a lot of um things, especially in the Ark with the Witches where um he was mentioned a few times. We also got um that he is kinda like a mad scientist. We saw him at the beginning of this arc too actually. Um his name is Morris, right? It feels like it just slipped my mind more. It's such a simple name. But um, yeah, we've seen him at the beginning of the arc as well. When he was setting up the tree of Quilof, Quilforth. I don't know how you pronounce that word. But yeah, so he's essentially saying that the devil granted him this power. To use his magic to affect dreams too, I guess. Um, and we see him laughing and he's like... Um, you know, I'll toy with you in the meantime until the other gates open. I'll keep myself entertained. Um, but he also looks at one of the soldiers and he's like, You don't interest me, Lotus. So if you retract this betrayal, you apologize. Maybe I'll spare you. And we see this guy has lost that arm, which I think is pretty interesting that Black Clover actually showed something this dark because we're not accustomed to seeing things like on that level of body damage yeah yeah um aside from being cut in half and stuff yes but like something like this where you actually see the blood pouring out feel that's like a new thing <coughs> but 
essentially Lotus is like I can't run because um, my family wouldn't be able to live in this kind of new world you're talking about so um yeah that's a no from me but this is interesting because um Morris is like <sighs> love for your family that must be cool but I wouldn't understand all that I don't that's not my thing I'm just a messenger and he says you know I'm the messenger for the ultimate devil Lucifero and we see Lucifero start speaking but the way he's speaking is interesting we see Morris's forehead like a cross here opens up with teeth and it begins speaking and it's Lucifero saying you're a more reasonable fellow unlike Dante and it seems that Majukula thought she could outthink me trick me into you know getting out of here with all this but she made for a good lab rat and the second gate is going to be opening soon and when that opens I will emerge so basically Lucifero should be entering the fight soon and there's supposed to be four supreme devils I believe so maybe we get more of Majukilo is killed in its entirety Zenon had a contract with his devil so I'm not sure if the devil is actually dead or if it could show up but maybe it can and if it does that means they'll have one more or if not it will be Lucifero and the one that we still don't know about but we then see <coughs> um, he says basically Morris is telling them that even though you defeated the Dark Triad, I don't know, I no longer need them. All I need is Funchance and Yami. And once I have them and their life, their magic, this, this, this is a done deal. And he then uses his modification magic operation. I assume he assembles or reassembles two devils into one giant one. And he's like, let's watch the advent of devils together if you survive. And he's telling this to Lo Lo Lotus, Lucas, Lotus. Um, but Lotus is remembering his family. And he said, he can't run, he can't hide, he have to stay and fight. And before he could finish what he's saying, he's like, I will make it home alive, back to my family, you know, the normal shonen trope. And before he could finish it, the devil attacks him and kind of, um, not sure if he's die. He's dying, he's dead, not sure. But yeah, Morris is just like, what was that noise? So what was that noise? So he's just like, okay, weird. <laughs> that is just Morris's reaction. But before he can finish anything, we see a big explosion. And something comes crashing through the walls and it's the black bulls and they're screaming we're here to pick up captain yami and out come the black bulls to save their captain and the chapter ends there next chapter is next week so quick things of course this was a good chapter it shows that the dark tribe have been defeated um as i was saying a while now it seems that everybody got their time to shine from the main cast being the top three you know Asta and well um, they're probably all three going to have to team up to fight Morris or the Black Bulls will take out Morris and Lucifer would come out just in time and they would have to team up to fight him. So yeah, I like where the story is going. Um, I like that they didn't just end the tree of Quill off, Quillforth, however you pronounce it, thing, right away and that they had a backup plan for it. So Morris seems to be the brains behind the operation. Um, but again, we still need to know what the fourth supreme devil is and who the fourth Zolgrit's sibling is, the one in the wheelchair. Same people theorizing that maybe it is um, Julius because Julius is time and then there's Astaroth the devil that supposedly controls time or something related to that. Uh, I've seen theories all over but we'll just have to wait and see. But all in all, good chapter, I enjoyed it. And I'm interested to see where things go next and how they defeat Morris. So yeah, good chapter and I'll see you all next week for the next one. Bye.